What's up, Gun Nuts? It's Ferrari Steve with RealGunReviews.com, and today we're going to do lucky video number seven in our ongoing series showing how to upgrade a bone stock West German P226 to as close as we can get to the 226 Legion specs. So let's do a quick safety check, make sure both guns are clear, visually and manually inspect, and we're good to go. All right, so yesterday we did the trigger. Today we're going to do the SRT kit. Now, this is the SRT kit from SIG, and SRT is an unfortunate set of initials for SIG. This is called the Short Reset Trigger Kit, which has really caused a huge confusion in the gun industry because there's no such thing as a short reset trigger. And you'll hear people say, oh, my gun has the short reset trigger. No, it doesn't. It might have a short reach trigger, which really isn't even the right word. They have a reduced reach trigger, and they have a short trigger. If you watch the trigger video, number six, uh, you'll see I have the short trigger in there and, and show what that is. But there's no such thing as a short reset trigger. There's a short reset trigger kit, and they really should have called it the short reset action kit because it really doesn't have anything to do with the trigger. I mean, the trigger is how you actuate everything, but really, here's what's in the SRT kit. So never say short reset trigger. It doesn't exist. And never say SRT by itself. Always say SRT kit or short reset trigger kit. Always say kit when you're dealing, when you're talking about this that affects the reset of the action. Uh, and the trigger is what you see, but really it's the reset of the action. So here we go. It's a new sear and a new safety lever. And that's it. This is the SRT kit, the short reset trigger kit. Always say kit. There's no such thing as a short reset uh, trigger. It just doesn't exist. So here we go. Uh, now, why would you want these? Well, let me show you what the reset looks like in the Legion. We've already cleared it. It's, uh, it's safe. So you take your double action shot, round cycles. Here's the reset. Look how small it is. Tiny. And then you're right back there at the wall for that follow-up shot. This has the gray gun's trigger, which is an improvement but it doesn't really improve the reset. That's our first shot, here comes our reset. A lot more motion before the reset and a lot more motion after the reset before you hit that wall and you break and get the hammer to fall. That's what we're trying to fix. We're trying to get this action closer to the Legion action. We've already done the trigger, now it's time for the SRT kit, right? And I wish it was called the SRA kit, the short reset action kit because we're affecting the action. Okay, here we go. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a screwdriver for removing the grips. You're gonna need, yes, it's a Glock tool, and that might be sacrilegious working with a SIG, but it comes in handy. I like a little tiny flathead screwdriver. Now, I've got another video on YouTube that's actually pretty popular for installing an SRT kit. If you Google SRT kit install, it's a number one hit. I'm hoping this video takes the place of that because I now use a magnet. I've done a few of these, and this magnet just makes it so much faster. So this video is gonna be less than half the length of the other one. And a little bit of lube never hurt anybody. All right, also keep a 5 64th Allen wrench if you put the gray guns trigger in because we're gonna want to make sure if we need to adjust it, we've got the tool handy. And we've got our handy dandy uh, microfiber cloth because as we take parts off, we like to put them down in the same order so we know what order to put them back on. All right, take off your right side grip. And uh, actually, no, the first thing you want to do is remove the slide and lose a screw. Now, when you remove the slide, anytime you're dealing with the action, don't forget, decock the pistol. It makes life a lot easier to take that spring tension off of the mainspring. Um, make sure it's decocked, you're going to have problems. And now you go ahead and remove your right side grip. Technically, you only need to remove the right side grip, especially if you're using my magnet approach. Um, it makes life so much easier, so you don't even need to take off the left side grip if you're using the magnet. Here we go. Take your Glock tool. Oh, sorry. Grab the uh, trigger bar spring. And if you've been following along with the uh, whole series, you know we put this trigger bar spring in in video number two, which was the first time we actually even upgraded anything. And it, uh, now our trigger bar will move freely. All right, now, we're gonna remove just one pin, and that's it. We'll get our little Glock tool, and it's this pin right here. And this pin holds in the sear and the safety lever and this little spring. Um, actually, let's take this. Let's remove the tension off the spring. So you can sometimes get behind it here, or sometimes you can get behind it in front, but see this little pin, there's a little spring here. You're gonna want to push up until that spring comes free. And once that spring tension is off, then you're ready to remove the pin. All right, now grab your Glock tool, 
take this pin and just push it all the way through. It should just slide out nice and easy. There's the pin right there. Now, you're ready to remove this, and if anything falls, that's fine. We'll see what everything is, and we'll know where it goes. So it comes out. Nothing fell, so let's shake it so things fall. There we go. Out comes the old sear. We're going to put our spring here in line, and the sear we'll look at in a minute. There's the safety bar right there. We're going to knock that off. Out it comes. If the ejector comes out and loose, that's okay. Just wiggle it back on. We don't need it out in order to do this, so keep your ejector in there. All right, so here is the stock uh, safety, wow, just hit the floor, all right. Here's the stock safety bar and the stock sear. Uh, here's our new one from the SRT kit. So you'll notice, got some fuzz on the floor, all right. Uh, this is longer and this has a little tab and that's what makes the magic happen. Here we go. If we don't need this, we'll put these to the side. And before we put it in, it's a great time just to throw a little bit of grease on there. And again, when we're dealing with the action, I like I like grease in the action. Make sure you lube up right here. This is the uh, spot where the sear engages the hammer right there. So you want to make sure that's really greased up. And like I said before, one of the things I really noticed on the uh, on the legions versus anything else is they come from the factory really, really greasy. Not just oily, but greasy. So it's okay to use uh, some grease. And anything that's going to be in the action, grease is... Uh, Never bad. I'll just kind of rub the excess on here and get it all, get it all in there. All right. Now we're ready to put things back together uh, with our new pieces. So, so that's kind of a way to cheat with it. Um, grab, grab your magnet. So make sure you line this up so the hole is up top and see this little hook. This is uh, where the sear engages the hammer. So lock on right about there with your little magnet. And then you just feed it in, oh, and our ejector is kind of getting into the fun. Feed it up and under, you know, I should have maybe put it like this, there we go. Get that angle right, and then just wiggle it, well, that ejector wants to really, I should have never moved him. Wiggle that up into place, and there, we're there. Boom, you can take the, uh, take the magnet out at that point because you've got the sear where it needs to be. And then get your Glock tool, where to go, there it is, and feed it in and hold it in place. Now we've got that pinned in place. That magnet just makes that so speedy to wiggle that right into place. So now we've got, and you can see down here where the sear swings in and engages the hammer. See those two teeth? I'm hoping that's uh, going to focus okay. But this sear, this, uh, this extra little protruding tab here is uh, partly what produces that reset. But uh, make sure you've got those engagement surfaces in the right place. So I like to put the Glock tool in from this side because then it's really easy to kind of just take it out and reassemble things in order. So I'm going to take it out so we're just holding the uh, ejector and the sear in place. And let's grab our spring and drop it in. And I'm sorry that I'm blocking the video a little bit, but there we go. So the spring is in and you should be able to line it up and push your Glock tool all the way in. And your spring, we're not going to deal with the spring tension yet. Grab your safety right here and again extract it just far enough to drop that down in to line up that hole and then push it in now you've got all the pieces of the action uh, that were on this pin all in place then grab the pin you know put a little more grease on it if it's on your hands that's good and then just push the pin and follow the glock tool through and if you encounter any resistance just kind of wiggle this should go in with no tension at all look at that very very smooth there should be no resistance at all. It should just push in, and you're going to want to adjust it so that it sits below this plane here in this in the in the frame where the slide moves back and forth. See how it's just below. There's a little indent, and this pin is not as wide as the low side of the frame. There we go. Perfect. Everything is in there. Now we've still got this spring tension to deal with. Do not forget about this. All right, this will mess things up if you forget this. So grab your screwdriver, push the spring down and over so it, again, bites underneath. Uh, make sure it's up against the edge. There we go. Now well, we're ready to put our trigger bar spring back on. Lock it in here. Swing it around. Make sure you don't put it in this too high spot. It's this low notch right there. And we are good. This should be ready to go. We'll put the grip back on. 
just because I'm pretty confident we did it right. You might not want to be so confident the first time you do it, but uh, that looked and felt like everything was going just dandy. Now you can test it here, but it's easier to put the slide back on. Here we go. Okay, that's good. It decocks, that's good. Now let's try it. First shot, bang. Let's see if the reset's any better. Oh my goodness. Minimal and bang. And it still does actuate, meaning we probably don't need to adjust the over travel on the trigger, but it's not a bad idea to have this just in case, right? Bang. Oh, a little reset. Very minor movement there. That is a lot closer to the action of the Legion. It's not quite as smooth yet because we haven't done everything that the Legion has done to his action, but that is another major step. So there you go. The magnet tool makes things really easy when it comes time to install an SRT kit. Um, yeah, you should have all these other tools, but this magnet, super easy and cheap to get on Amazon and uh, put your original sear and uh, safety lever somewhere safe just in case you ever need them. But there you go. That's all there is to installing the SRT kit, the short reset trigger kit, always say kit with it, in your West German P226 or any 226 or 229 or 220 uh, to get it closer to Legion specs. This is Ferrari Steve. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so we can keep going on with this video series and you can uh, follow along. Get out there, practice, play with your gun. And by play, I mean, don't be, don't be stupid, but have fun with it and uh, practice. So the first time you have to pull that trigger, it's not the first time you have pulled that trigger. Stay safe out there and please follow along with our next video.